in focus. Good morning. Good well, morning, evening, all that shit. Welcome back to another episode of Unfocus Podcast. I'm T. I'm AJ Twist. And yeah, this is episode 210, the Gramble episode. Finally, we got the Gramble. Yeah, not to be confused with last week's, you know? Uh, and he is also the fairy Pokemon. Oh, him too? Just like just like Snowball. I was so kind of disappointed that they, named, they made him a fairy. Because he wasn't fairy type he originally. He doesn't look fairy. He, he doesn't look... seem to use any fairy no, moves. Because like... he's second gen, right? And we didn't get fairy types until fifth gen? So well, he was normal type before that? Yeah, I think he was normal. Yeah, which that was fine. Yeah. <laughs> I was fine with that. You he, know, he doesn't, weird. he doesn't look fairy, but fine. I think he's fighting... I think oh, I think Gram- th- Gramble is fighting in in fairy or fighting in normal or I, I I'm sorry so. normal and fair fighting or something like that. I think he just became fighting, but um, I feel like he's fairy fighting, so I think he he's he's more unique oh, now. Fairy fighting, that's scary. Yeah, some Pokemon got some. No, he's just I, pure fairy. Never mind. Uh, I thought, but I think he can like learn fighting moves. Like, I think that fool can learn Mega Punch. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt that. I wonder if it says what he used to be. I'm pretty sure it was normal though. Because yeah, a lot he, of no- he, was, he was normal for sure. Yeah, because even like Jigglypuff and shit became fairy type. Hmm. That's funny because that description is probably different from early in it. Anyways, <laughs> that's not the Snubble episode, not the Grand Bull episode. Live on Twitch.tv. <laughs> I mean, it is, but. Live, yes. Twitch.tv slash Collision28 every Thursday, 7 30 to 8, we start. Uh, YouTube.com slash Unfocused Podcast. Like, comment, subscribe. And then always download us on iTunes. So that helps us out. Always do it. AJ, got some. Unfocused week shit to tell me? Um, you know what? Not really. Okay. Moving um, on. No, just... <laughs> Soul Nothing? Calibur. Okay. That, like, that's all we did, right? It was Soul Calibur? That's all you did, yeah. I did some stuff. Uh, I felt like we played Smash at one point. We did. We... Well, no, I think we just talked about playing Smash. I don't think we actually played it. I don't know then. Yeah, no, because cause my... Uh... No, I just haven't had the time. <laughs> there you go. All right. <laughs> I, haven't had, I haven't had time to do shit. Um, so, yeah. Soul Calibur. Awesome. All right. Soul Calibur. Moving yeah. <laughs> for my Unfocus Week, I uh, finished that <clears throat> six Justice League book, so I'm finally on the fucking Dark Side War. That's what I've been trying to get to this whole time. Oh, I know what I can talk about now. Voltron. It's too, no, it's too late. It's too oh, late. You're so, no, I'm just joking. Go ahead. Voltron, you finally watched it? Finished it. Oh, you finished it. What did you mm-hmm. think about the ending? Um... It was it was a good ending. Yeah, that 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 whole season was it's, it's the last season season finale and all that, right? Series finale. Yeah, it, it's it's done and all that, um, and it was very like space continuum messing with realities and shit like that. So it just got like really crazy at the end, like thinking about like damn, like they can fuck up everything, right? So that's kind of what that was all focused on, and then there's a, just a, so much happened at the end, and then I don't know, and then. You know, things happen to people and stuff. And, and it, I like the ending, the very ending of it, too. Like, after the big battle and all that and everything gets resolved, they kind of give you, like, the last, like, couple minutes, like, a little future, uh, um, you know, not uh, wouldn't be a flashback, but, like... Flash forward? Like, a flash forward, yeah. Like, where they kind of tell you, all right, yeah, you know, years later, this is where they are now type of thing, which is really cool. Uh, but, yeah, it, it was it was good. I kind of want to watch the whole series again now. Oh, God. Just to see, like, what I missed and... <laughs> You know, to see those hints and all that. Because it was that good. Like, I remember when I first started watching it, I was just watching it just to watch it, see what's going on. And I wasn't really paying attention because I didn't know what to pay attention to. Now you kind of know what to look for. And, and yeah, now now I know, like, okay, that one dude, he was a big thing. He was an actual thing I should have been worried about from the beginning. I mean, this thing was, the person, too, was also a big thing I should have been worried about from the beginning. Like, I wasn't paying attention to certain characters that I should have been paying attention to the whole time. So, but yeah, overall, great series. And anyone who's likes, you know, shit like that, Voltron, like, Check it out on Netflix. Uh, it's it's awesome. It's great. I want to go get a freaking like uh, um, the figure now, like fucking Voltron shit. Like I want to go find those lions now where you put them together and just so I can have it sitting up here somewhere. Hmm. I was looking it up on Amazon. You know, I freaking saw it at Target one day too. It was in the clearance spot too. It was fucking diecast metal uh, Voltron. What's wrong with you? It was in the clearance eating. Yeah, clearance? it was on clearance. I was like. And this is like when I was like midway watching through. I'm like, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm that into it yet. You know, yeah, like, bro, you got nothing and then no like, one to blame but yourself. E- even though it was on clearance, it was still expensive though. I was like, how much for It was like 40, 50 bucks somewhere around oh, there. Oh, damn. That was clearance? Yeah. And it was like 80 originally or some shit like Fuck. that. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, I'm good right now. I don't, bl- of, I don't blame you in that case. 50 but, bucks is a heavy commitment. Yeah, but I kind of regret it now. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, yeah. Voltron dope. All right. All right so. And then you said you saw what? Or you read what? 
I read Justice League finally and got yeah. to the Dark Side War, which is pretty good. I just oh, yeah. tapped into it a little bit. It was dope. Um, I haven't finished the first book, but I like it. Um, the last one had like the Amazo virus, so it was pretty cool. Was it Amazo? It was, it was, you know, it was. <laughs> and I guess in DC there's a shit called the Amazo virus where this virus takes away superpowers from superpower people and gives Damn. regular people fucking superpowers. Like, so does it like take it from one person and give it to somebody no, else or just give no, someone randomly? It's randomly like, oh, okay. yeah, it gives you a power or some shit like that. And wow. Like, it was causing all kinds of chaos and metropolis and shit. It was, it was kind of cool. And so then it led to this dark side war shit, which I just started. Mm-hmm. It was pretty cool. Um, did, I, that, did that virus end up uh, making any popular superheroes? Yeah, it did. Actually, it made a couple, char- a few characters like uh, they're becoming a big, big part of the story now. Mm, okay. So yeah, it's pretty cool that they did that way. Okay, that's cool. It also created some villains too, you know. Oh, of course, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I saw the Dragon Ball Super movie in theaters. Oh, did you know? Holy shit! That's like the best animated movie I've ever seen in a theater. Whoa. Dude, the art is so good. You even if you don't like Dragon Ball, you could just watch it and just watch how fucking sick the art was. Like everything's hand drawn. That's First cool. off, like that's rare for Dragon Ball. Like the last three movies, the last probably the last ten movies that came out have not been but that hand-drawn. many movies. They have thirteen before the moderns. Damn. So there's like eighteen Dragon Ball movies right now. And there was that live action one too. Oh, we're not and that wasn't hand drawn. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> that was definitely not hand drawn. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it was. That's how bad it was. Fuck man. <laughs> well, um, yeah, this new one. It was called the. It was the Dragon Ball Super Brawly movie. And uh, it was hand drawn. It was just so sick. They did so many things that you've never seen from an animated movie. Like they changed perspectives all the time. Like mm-hmm. there was one point where they put you in a first person view, like you're Brawly punching Goku around. Oh shit! Only for like five seconds, and it was so dope. The it best made five seconds ever. It really was. Dude. It, was <laughs> it made everything look chaotic. Like he was punching him. The characters in the backgrounds were all hand drawn, right? But like he punched him yeah. through a glacier, and the glacier was CGI. Oh, so okay. he was going through the glacier, but you see like this detailed drawn character going through this fucking dope ass CGI, like. It looked like he was really... And then you see the fist punching him through it. You know, you're like, damn, this is dope. That's crazy. Yeah, they did a good job with that movie. It was really... And the story was good. Usually the Dragon Ball movies, the stories are not so great. Yeah. And they're not canon. This one's actually canon. I've heard that too. So, okay. That one's canon. That's crazy. Yeah, it picks up after the end of Dragon Ball Super, the show. And it's the setup for the next season, apparently. So, um, yeah. Interesting. So, it's kind of, you need to go see it. Yeah, if you're, if you're watching Dragon Ball Super, you have to see the movie at some point. You have to. Because otherwise, you're not going to know how they got to where they're at now. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, it was amazing. It was a really good movie. Um, other than that, I dare say it's Amazo. <laughs> now, other than that, I think that's about it. Um, I didn't read anything else. Yeah. Did I play any other games? I played a little Splatoon one night. Oh, nice. I think that was it. Yeah, that, that was my focus. Yeah, I want to get back into Splatoon. Me I'll, too. I'll I wanted to play more. Yeah. All right, so that's everything, huh? Yeah, Unfocused, right. fools. Yeah, don't forget. Twitter at Unfocus28. Uh, Instagram at Unfocus Podcast. If you want to go to you know follow us on those uh, networks there, uh, you can always get the podcast through Apple iTunes. Uh, subscribe to it. Download it. Uh, Collision28.com. For everything else, really. And email us on Focus Podcast. Yes, sir. I should check that right now. I'm going to check that right now. I'll go with the first news. Yeah, do it. Uh, All right. Okay. This is the news. Let's do it. The news. Yeah. All right. Um, So, one thing. DC Comics is going to be laying off a few of their staff members. They haven't said uh, how many. Oh, I know. They said... It's probably going to be about seven people from their comic staff. And um, most of the layoffs affect the executive level of the comic uh, publishing division because apparently DC wants to get fresh ideas. They want to kind of like return to its roots and get some fresh ideas. So I think maybe they might be trying to edge out people that are watching the movies and trying to make the movie stuff come to the comics and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah, so they're, they're trying to return to their roots. Uh, they got Jim Lee still there, so like one of the original like comic artist guys, like big time. He's still with them. Okay, it's just interesting. They want to do that, like like they just get rid of a bunch of people. Yeah, just drop everyone. Yeah, but I, I can see how like they want to refresh things because they. I don't think I don't. I don't feel like they've been doing that hot. Well, the comics are great. I mean, it's the movies are the problem. <clears throat> I guess so. Yeah. But if the comics are like feeding into the movies, yeah, that's probably a problem. So like, hopefully, that's the reason for the reset. But yeah, if you work for DC, I mean, if you're looking for a job for DC, now may not be the best time. <laughs> AJ? 
All right. So um, Kingdom Hearts. When does that come out? Like next week, right? Yeah, next yeah. Tuesday. Yeah, right. but the the embargo is off for the reviews, though. Oh, cool. I haven't checked out any uh, reviews, which I'm not going to anyways because I'm not even there yet. So spoiler that is alert. too much for me. Spoiler alert. It's good. People are, <laughs> okay. people are actually happy that's good yeah so go on well those same people may be excited for um going to see the live concert uh because uh they're doing like a live orchestra uh thingy for kingdom hearts um so what's it called it's called uh the kingdom hearts orchestra world of trees or tress thress okay tress world of tress um, so this concert would be going all around the world, starting in Japan, uh, next April, next April, this coming April, uh, April 27th, 28th, they'll be at, uh, in Tokyo and then they'll go to Singapore and then they'll come down to the U S, um, for, for the summer, really, actually, uh, go up to Canada, Germany, Atlanta, Atlanta, oh, too bad. or coming back to the U S and go to Paris, Italy, Australia, Brazil, England, Mexico, Japan. Oh, and, and at, at back of Japan in November. So if anyone's interested in, uh, if you like the live orchestra stuff, and also they're going to be not only playing like, you know, their old stuff, but they'll also be playing the new stuff from the new game too. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, so if anyone likes that type of uh, live uh, orchestra video game stuff, and you love Kingdom Hearts, go check this out <laughs> at their official site. All right. Um, I, I think I heard something like they're not going to, the tickets uh, for Japan, they have no word yet on when those going to start, but I think they, everywhere else you can start buying tickets now, I believe. Is what I understood there. And don't forget, if you happen to be in this Kingdom Hearts feel, don't forget that last week on Unfocus we mentioned there are Kingdom Hearts rooms that are being, you know, for sale just around that time, from March 26th to June 30th. So if you want the full Kingdom Hearts experience while you're in Tokyo seeing that, don't forget to, that you can go to... Let me figure out the name of the hotel. Yeah, Tokyo. so April 27th, 28th is when uh, they'll be in Tokyo, so go book it. <laughs> go get a room there now. <laughs> for 500 bucks uh, yeah right it was something pretty ridiculous like yeah that. um god damn it i'm trying to remember the trying to figure out the name of that hotel hold on uh i'll let you know later on listen to the last episode <laughs> <laughs> go back yeah go back to the last episode we talked about it there um but yeah that's uh that's what i got there all right so in other news um funko pops i got a picture of this one uh so this Apparently, uh, Game of Thrones, Funko Pops, G-O-T there? Yeah. Yeah, Game of Thrones is uh, doing a new line for Funko Pops, and for anyone that doesn't know, they're basically like little figures for everything nerdy. Yep, and um, everything. Everything, literally, right? They got it, something, it, it's so Power hard, like, Rangers, whatever. I always tell myself, I'm not going to get into this at all. No, I don't want to become a collector of it. Yeah, I don't, don't want to either, yeah. yeah. I've seen so many cool ones, I was like, it's dope. But no, yeah, no, no way. I bought in one though. Mm. But um, you know, a, a big talk that's been going on since the new season that's of it. Game of Thrones is about to come mm -hmm. is who's going to be sitting on the Iron Throne at the end. Apparently, it's, everybody. Yeah, Funko Pops <laughs> decided to comment on this by making a little line <laughs> called the Iron Throne, and there's five figures, each of which are kings in the series, except for one. And they have a little motto of each of these kings sitting on the Iron Throne. Yeah. So they're kind of putting it even more to your imagination as to who's going to win at the end of this whole thing, you know? But what if they got it wrong? What if none of these positions are, are correct? Well, who's it going to be? Littlefinger? Like, I mean... Like, <laughs> well, well, no, it can't be him he's anymore. He's dead fried chicken. <laughs> yeah. that, that's my point. Spoilers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, like, what if it's freaking, like, Arya or some shit, you know? Mm. Or what's her name? I don't think Arya wants to be king. Uh, uh, it could be Sansa. Gray. Yeah, Sansa. Yeah, it could yeah, that'd be interesting. Mm -hmm. The one person who's not a king on this picture, there's a little picture I have here. Uh, the line includes Khaleesi, uh, you yeah. know, Daenerys, Daenerys uh, Danny, Cersei, the mother of dragons, John, Breaker of Chains. Mm -hmm. You gotta do the whole thing, T. Whole, no. I'm not doing the whole <laughs> thing. <laughs> but uh, they got Cersei, they got Jon Snow, they got the king of the White Walkers, and then surprisingly, they have fucking Tyrion yeah. there. What's up with that? That's kind of weird. I, I, I didn't to, even I was, think about him as a possibility to take true. the throne. I was looking at like, who's that other one? I was about to ask him, like, wait, he looks smaller. Okay, that's Tyrion. Yeah. The Night's King. The Night's King. Yeah, that's right. Like, <laughs> dude, the Night King. Yeah, I forgot that fool's name. Um, yeah, so I thought it was real interesting that Tyrion's included in this. Yeah. And I'm like, I never, I mean, I, I definitely think he might do some betrayal shit, possibly, to somebody. But I didn't think he'd be doing it for himself. Or, you know, this doesn't mean anything. This is all Funko. What if they all die? What if everyone dies and he's, like, the only one standing, so... 
I told fuck him it. He's like, fuck it. Yeah, fuck it, you know. <laughs> Six of the throne, man. Yeah. Could be. But, you know, I'm interested in what you guys think. Feel free to um to email us. Or tweet uh, us. Oh, apparently there's a Sonic. Oh, he said you're not even collecting the Sonic Yeah, I was asking. Yeah. Not even the Sonic Bunkos? I'll, no, not even those. I, I'm I've just... seen the Amy. That's the only one I've seen is the uh, Amy. I've seen Sonic. Yeah. I've seen him. Um, I've seen him out there. I've seen the Street Fighter ones, too. It's like, oh, I see, I've cool. seen those. I, I, there's that Power Ranger one I saw. They had, like, uh, their green and red ranger, meaning uh, uh, fucking the pure original from the movie. Oh, my God. Zordon and uh, what's her name? Rita. Yeah, Rita. Yeah, yeah, Zordon and Rita. Yep, yep. I've I seen so many that I'm like, oh, that'd be dope. I'm like, no, no. <laughs> stay away. Yeah, so um, keep your eyes open for these Game of Thrones Funko Pops if you collect them or if you even like Game of Thrones enough to get something like this. Carla has a Ninja Turtle Funko Pop. My girlfriend has one. Oh, she does? She has a... Uh, someone got it for her for her birthday or something like that. It's Michelangelo in the actual uh, van, the turtle van. So it's a big-ass van. Damn. Michelangelo on top He's of driving it. it or is yeah. It? Damn, that's dope. So that, that'd be... I guess you can say I have it. I don't know. <laughs> Te- technically, you, know, you can't say that you don't have it. Yeah. Uh, true, true. <laughs> All right, AJ, here's with some news. All right, so um, Shonen Jump, which is a big magazine, right, mm-hmm. out in Japan, uh, they announced the newest Dragon Ball Fighter Z character to join the roster. Some dude named Jiren. Who's that? Jiren's the guy, um, the, the alien-looking guy with the red and black suit. That tells me nothing. He's the one I talked about last week. Remember, <laughs> he, he, remember, he, remember he, last week when I was talking about Dragon Ball Fighter? I said they said someone from Universe Eleven is gonna be joining us. I said he's basically like a plain looking alien, but like buffed out. Hmm. That's that guy right there That's you see him? on the right, the, the right. white with the white head. Like cheering. so, last week when we heard it, that was a rumor. Y- yeah, w- well, no, it wasn't You're a rumor. What? It was official. It was an official thing. Like they were saying that's gonna happen, but they didn't name him. But there was, like, no one else it could have been, like... Wait, what did he say? I don't know. I'm not paying attention. He said something was turned on. I don't have anything on. No, nah, I don't know. I, I try to see what he's saying, but <laughs> I don't get it. Um, but, yeah, so that's probably what they're talking about. What I was talking about last week, how they said, like, a new fighter's going to be joining Universe 11, from Universe 11, you mm-hmm. know? It's probably Jiren. Oh, confirmed. There you go. There, you heard it here first last week. <laughs> and, but now it's for sure. You know, Jiren's definitely in. Yeah, and then uh, apparently we'll be getting more details about it um at the uh dragon ball fighter z world championship tournament which taking which is taking place uh the 26th and the 27th of uh this month hmm. so look out for that when when's that happening where's that happening i don't know but yeah so new characters new roster or i guess that looks new one one new character so does that mean they're gonna be more uh probably Can more people are people are really loving this shit right now so i feel like they'll just keep going with it Hopefully. Oh, by the way, it's the Ambassador Hotel in Tokyo that's doing the King, uh, the Kingdom Hearts. Oh, you stage. found it. Yeah, the Ambassador Hotel in Tokyo. Mm, cool. All right. Other news. Um, X Force. X Force. X Force. You know, so um, apparently, uh, Ryan Reynolds made some comments about X Force and this whole Disney merger thing. He said, "If it's still happening," <laughs> he, he even said specifically, "If it's still happening." X Force will come out before Deadpool three, and this actually subverts what we've heard from Ryan Reynolds previously. Last year, he was saying there wasn't going to be a Deadpool three. He said mm. there was only going to be X Force. So they he might be talking with uh, Mar- with, uh with Disney, Disney and Marvel. That yeah, whole thing. yeah, it could be. Uh, but yeah, so he he made a comment. He said like if if these movies are to be, which he didn't say for sure they are, <laughs> he says X Force is going to come first, Deadpool three afterwards. Mm. And um, that's about all he really had to say about it. But the fact that he even made a comment about them means that they're talking about things, that things are on the board, possibly. Because, um, yeah, that should have been... I thought that was just going to be it for Deadpool. I'm happy that they want to keep him because he's the only person meta enough to like connect to everything. Everyone else has to be reset. True. Yeah, that, so. That's going to be weird, yeah. Yeah. By the way, who did it better? X-Force? Wakanda, Wakanda Forever. X Force is doing the Wakanda Forever. You know, he's representing. Bro. Or is Wakanda <laughs> Forever doing the X Force? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you never know, man. You never know. I wonder if they knew what they were doing there. Dude, it's definitely yeah. Because for sure. he no, was... but but they came out like months apart, so they couldn't really know because they would have been filming in production. That, that and all Wakanda that. thing was like pretty big. Like you see it all the trailers. Like they were all doing that in the trailers. But still, like they might have been already filming. No. And have done it before, like, even those trailers came out, because they were only months apart. He also called that full Brown Panther in a scene not long after that, so I'm pretty sure that that's, that was on mm. purpose. Yeah, they made the, the whole movie was making fun of Avengers movies. Yeah, So, I, like, I don't know, man. I don't know. The same. Conspiracy. 
Yeah. They're trying to one up them somehow. X Force. <laughs> All right. Other news. Go for it. So, um, Legendary Pictures, or I think it's just called Legendary. I keep Legendary. Going, is it? Yeah. Well, anyways, they're making the uh, Detective Pikachu movie, right? Yeah. So I guess the uh, reaction to the trailers and all that had been so dope, and and the company's been loving it, that they're actually talking about uh, possibly making two other Pokemon live action movies in the future. We, we talked about this last week, yeah. Did we? Yeah, they said there's spinoffs coming for Detective Pikachu. Oh yeah, they said spinoffs. Yeah, we did. Okay, that's true. Yeah. Well, to add to the rumor. Mm-hmm. Uh, possibly Red and Blue, and like a damn of that series, and the Mewtwo a whole storyline. Pokemon Red and Blue. If that was the name of a movie, I would just fucking lose my shit. Which if they did, you ever see that? Uh, oh, what was it called? There was a Pokemon. Was it Generations or something? Yeah, like you talking about the one with all the where it had like tra- it followed Red. Yeah. 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 Exactly. It was like a four Mewtwo or five episode. Yeah. He didn't. Did he? Oh, he ended up catching. Uh, yeah, yeah. He went to Cerulean City at the end. Yeah. Or? So if they did it like that, like kind of follow that storyline in some way like that, that'd be dope. I'm down with that. Something close to that would be cool. Not with the whole Mewtwo thing at the end, because of course they're gonna have a Mewtwo movie. But that's all rumored right now. I would be real happy if a running theme was them being hungry though, because you know that's always happening in Pokemon. Like they're traveling and they're all fucking hungry and shit. Well, that happened in the anime a lot. That's that what never I'm happened to me in the game though. No, me either. But yeah, you know, <laughs> that'd be so dope if they made like little re- references to that stuff. Yeah, that'd be cool. But yeah, yeah I guess... you gotta get Snorlax out the way. You gotta fucking do all the little things. Like you gotta go. That would be dope. It's a, that's a lot to fit in the movie, but something like that would be cool though, for sure. I feel like uh, that show showed us that because that show did all that in an hour. If you have an hour and a half and you could like really flesh it out, I feel like it could be done now. Only because of that generation show, like that, sh- but, that show, like. But it, also that 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 little mini series though, they skipped a lot because you started out at the beginning, all of a sudden you know you got your first badge and you skipped ahead and you're like you're already getting your like your fourth or fifth badge. They, so pro- they, they, they probably they do skip that, a lot. They probably do that now too. I, I don't think they'd skip as far as that generation one would, but um, I think that they definitely skip around. Yeah, because like it's too much to cover. You know? Or what if they did two parts? Like one was red, one was blue. You know that'd be cool. And then kind yeah. of do both parts, like all the sp- split the whole thing into two. As long as he's actually trying to catch all the Pokemon. I get really mad at Ash. <laughs> he's not trying to catch all the Pokemon. No, but that's... I get really mad at Ash, bro. Like, if you were really about this, <laughs> you would have caught that baby Lugia. I'm just saying. Wait, AJ, go on news. You know that gotta catch them all phrase is, like, no longer a thing, though, is it? It should be. It was back in the day, but there's too many fucking Pokemon now. Like, it's impossible. It's not impossible. <laughs> no, it's not, but, but still... <laughs> All right, here's another one. Then. All right, so uh, Piranha Plant. Remember the Piranha Plant? Yeah, he's coming out soon, right? He's coming out soon. So uh, some some data miners uh, have uh, like gone through some stuff and uh, figured, well, not really gone through some stuff, not really hacked anything, but like just looking at just different data from from different sources, uh, they're seeing that the amiibo for a Piranha Plant is coming out on February fifteenth. So they're saying that maybe. It's going to come out that same day, maybe Valentine's that same Valentine's week. Valentine's Day. <laughs> and then, oh, yeah, maybe right before, right? Uh, we also got like a little, you know, pop-up thing in the game saying, oh, yeah, it's coming out in February. So we know it's going to be in February sometime. There's no exact date yet. So we're all kind of just waiting on that. But, yeah, um, also, I wanted to bring up the story just as a reminder, too, that anyone who has bought the game has the game right now, physical or digitally. Make sure you get that thing registered so you get your Piranha Plant Oh, for fuck, free. I got to do that. Can you show me how to do it right after this? You have it to January 31st. It's easy. You just got to, like, show go me. to the home menu. Sh- show me. I'll show you later. I'm going right to <laughs> um, And then they'll email you a, a code, which I have the code. I got to go get it and actually just um, put it in. But as long as you have the code, you should be good uh, to get him in, um, to have it day one pretty much okay so yeah just look out for him and uh if you haven't done so already go register your game go look online it's easy if you did it digitally but if you have a physical copy you have to go to the home menu and and do some shit through there i'm pretty sure i talked about it uh, a few episodes ago (laughs) but anyways yeah that's that all right i'm gonna do one more piece of news and maybe do another one if you want after uh yeah all right so um magicians has been greenlit for season Mm. five this may be confusing to people that are following it on Netflix. And Netflix is only up to season three. Yep, I'm behind. Yeah, FX has just aired season four. Yep. It's in the middle of airing right now. Yep. But apparently season four is good enough that they just got greenlit for season five. Yep. So there will be more fillery action for you. Yay. Um, You know, it'll probably be the same time about this time next year, so. Yeah, it seems like every time that um, 
the last season always comes out with the new season starts. So yeah, exactly. I like that timing. Behind. I like that timing because if you're not sure if I like it, I like it because if you really, <laughs> if you really love season three, you can go buy a fucking season four on iTunes now. Like, all right, you can watch it right now. Like, mm. if you really loved it, you know. Yeah. Like, I like that because I, I personally, I wait every year. I'm yeah, like, yeah. I watch it. Yeah, I wait too. Because there's just so much good shit to watch these days. Like. Yeah. I can watch all this shit before I fucking have to buy that, you know? Yeah, I'm falling behind on shit, too. Yeah, it's so we got Punisher just came out. Oh, I know. Urgh. Anyway. <laughs> let's, let's, uh, you got one more for us before we get to our little break? Yeah, so um, I don't have the full details on this, but starting... Let me see what I do have, though. Uh, apparently, you are you're asking about tournaments, right? I was, Yes. So, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate North America Open. So, uh, this is going to be an online tournament, though. So, it will start off Fuck online that. tournament. But this is Nintendo online tournament, right? Uh, and also Splatoon as well. Splatoon's getting a tournament, too. So, throughout the month of February, you can uh, sign up for these tournaments, uh, play against people, and um, eventually the finals will happen in, uh, at PAX, PAX East in Boston, March 30th. Okay. Um, and then there's a whole list of, like, different dates in which all these... Uh, uh, tournaments are happening. Do you want to participate so, in some of this or what? I don't know if I do. February 9th is when it starts and I'm busy that day. It's in the morning too. I'm not sure if I want to wake uh, up in the morning. You got to get up early then. Yeah, you know, it's waking up. Or, wait, was this off? This is off. So I think it starts on the 2nd actually. Uh, but yeah, there's different dates. It looks like it's every Saturday or some shit mm, on okay. the weekends. Also throughout March too, actually, too. Cool. Uh, also Splatoon's doing the same thing too. I'm guessing they're also going to have a uh, final at PAX East as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, possibly might be the last big Splatoon tournament that Nintendo holds. Possibly just saying that. Three? Uh, if there is a third one, I have no, haven't heard about it. I think they should but, let two ride a little bit longer. Honestly, no, I think so too, for sure. But they had said that uh, coming this summer will be the like the last big update for the game. Mm-hmm. Um, they'll, they'll still do like small patches here and then, but there's not going to be like no more big, weapons, like, new I- new items, and yeah, shit, new, new items and stuff like that, yeah. Okay. Um, and then I think Splatfest might even end in the summer too. What supposedly. the fuck? They might, yeah. Why they gotta stop doing Splatfest? The game's almost two years old. So? That's not very much time. The first Splatoon only lasts for a year. That's stupid. <laughs> right. But yeah, I hope they continue with it. Uh, at least with the Splatfest for sure, though. It'd be a good move. But anyways, anyone wants to join some tournaments and possibly get into the finals at PAX East, go uh, look that up and sign up for it and all that. Hey, if you want some practice, hit us up. Yeah. All right, uh, so with that said, let's jump into our little mini break here, the music of the week. All right, music of the week, right here. How do I do this? Like this. Like that. Music power. With skill, that's how you do it. I forgot about the music. It threw me off again. So this is a part of the show where we share some music with you. It's what we've been listening to and what we think you should be listening to. Want me to go first? I'll go first real quick. Uh, mine is Epic. The song is called Epic by, by Tsunami Bomb. AJ? Oh, I feel like I've heard of them before. I think you have. <laughs> I think I used to let you listen to them back when I was into them. Like, yeah, they sound familiar, yeah. Uh, my track is called Face My Fears. Oh, by who? Utada, Hikaru, oh, shit. and Skrillex. Oh, shit. Which I think... Oh, shit. Which crazy is that... Is that on the Kingdom Hearts 3 soundtrack? I think this is going to be yeah, the Kingdom Hearts opening Damn. theme or some shit. But... It, it's with Skrillex, though. That's weird. That That is cool, weird. cool, but weird. I heard it earlier, and I was like, I have mixed feelings about this. But I'm going to play it here to see if my feelings are any different. Let me <laughs> go first. That way I can come back and hear that. <laughs> All right, we'll be back after this break, you guys. So, um, yeah. Oh, real quick. Because um, it's not news I want to mention real quick. Have you heard this theory that the Avengers are caught in a time loop? And that's why they can't lose this time around? That's why they can't lose? Yeah. I haven't heard that one. I heard that there's a time loop, possibly. And that Doctor Strange might have set it up. It might be his fault. Oh, shit. Yeah, the moment might be... The trigger point might be him... When he winked. Him giving Thanos the stone. Hmm. What if that's the point that it keeps resetting in every time they fail? And so that that's why they can't lose. So it comes back? And then they try again. Uh. Comes back. They try again. Goes back to that moment where he gives him the stone. Could be. Maybe. He can put the trigger point wherever he wants in the stone. If that him giving Thanos with the stone, that last moment he holds it is the beginning of the loop. Yeah. Like that would put Thanos in a really fucked up position, like or whoever whatever they're trying to do in a then bad position. Thanos should be able to figure it out though, because he has a time stone now too, then, right? I don't know. I mean I don't know the, the details about that. If he casted the loop before that, like maybe mm-hmm. Thanos can't do nothing about that because it's already done. 
or or has to go back there. Yeah, or yeah, they all have to return to that point. You yeah, know? like and then dust all over again every time until they figure it out. <laughs> yeah, basically, <laughs> basically, I was like, I thought it was a really interesting theory because I hadn't thought about that. And I'm like, oh, that would be, that'd be pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, that's what he did with Dormammu. And so further, yeah, okay, so further point that kind of reinforces this theory. Apparently, Kevin Feige was the one who came who came up with the idea of Doctor Strange defeating Dormammu with a loop. Hmm. And suppose and the person that was reporting that from MCU was saying that he did that to set up future future possibilities and future storylines. Mm. So we haven't seen it come to fruition yet. No. So I'm like maybe maybe it was all because of that, you know, like Yeah. I don't know. So I thought maybe it was it's Greg. Maybe, maybe the loop maybe Greg made the maybe, loop. Maybe Greg is the loop. Damn. <laughs> My head's starting to hurt, bro. Let's talk about some else. All right. Let's talk about news talk about news i wish i was like on point with like ready when you said it i know, you know? i did i should have built it up more you want to do it again all right ready i'm gonna talk about news okay all right edgar wright finished the who script the fuck is edgar wright the guy who wrote ant-man and mm, okay, baby driver ahead. and scott pilgrim ah he finished the script for Baby Driver 2. Right Baby there. Driver 2. I, I want to see the first one. I, oh, you haven't seen it either? No, nah, I haven't seen Me it Me either. either. I hear it's amazing. I hear the soundtrack is the shit. Oh, cool. Now, oh, that, yeah, because he's, hear... listen, he's listening to music the whole time, Yeah, right? I heard that's like one of the best things about it. It's almost like Scott yeah. Pilgrim or Guardians. Like, yeah, he's as on far as Guardian the soundtrack shit. is so important. Yeah. You know? Yeah, so apparently the soundtrack's real important to the movie, and it's really good. Cuckoo said we should so watch good. it. We should watch it, dude. Because Leslie's been mm. mad at me forever because I haven't seen it. And I'm like, I told her, I didn't watch it because I don't like the name. Like, I don't get it. I'm like baby driver. Like, and his name is Baby. They call him Baby throughout the whole movie too. That throws me off even more. I like that even less. So I'm like, man, what the fuck? But anyway, we should, maybe we should watch it one of these days soon. I heard yeah, it's really, yeah, I want to really see good. it. Yeah. I need to go see fucking everything that connects to glass too. I've seen Unbreakable. You can use my my net, uh, my um, HBO now and watch Glass. I don't know if Split's on there. Split, yeah. I've been wanting to see Split too. I haven't seen it. I'm sorry, not Glass. You can see Unbreakable on my yeah. HBO now if you want. And Split. Oh, Split's there too? I don't know. Which one's the one that's coming out now? That's Glass. That's Glass. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know what Split's at then. I don't know where it's at either. It mm-hmm. might be there, but I know for sure Unbreakable's on HBO now. So if you want to borrow my Apple TV. I feel like I might have Unbreakable. But you like bootlegged it. somewhere. You should, you should watch Split's it. on Cinemax. Okay. What the fuck is Cinemax? <laughs> It's right. another one of those movie channels. Yeah, I'm just going to buy it. I'm, <laughs> I'm not getting any more fucking streaming Oh, maybe just yet. find a red box somewhere and hope they have it. I'm literally getting one more streaming service. It's probably going to be Disney Plus. So that that's it. I'm not getting any more streaming services ever. I don't care. Somebody better let me borrow their DC shit. Or <laughs> they better put their shit somewhere else because I'm not going to watch it. You can always cancel. Else. Get it for a month. We'll watch what you got to well, watch. What am I going to do when season cancel. two comes out? Then what am I going to do? Wait. And then when it comes up, pay for that month, watch it, cancel. Cancel just if I can binge. Yeah. Okay. I'm I like that. If you want, if you want a way to get around it, that's the way to do it. You're right. You're right. That's true. All right. Well, I'll, I I'll haven't you... I haven't done that yet, but I've been kind of contemplating that because sometimes I won't touch Hulu for like a good couple of months well, because yeah. and the there's first, nothing there. And the first time will be free. Yeah, the first yeah, time. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. That's no, true. With, uh, with the DC streaming service. Oh, first, okay. First time you try it. That will makes be free. it easier. So, yeah. Yeah, complaint. so you, yeah, so you can pay for your second season, not for your first one, because it's free. Yeah, you heard it here first, guys. <laughs> right, AJ... that, that's the time loop right there. <laughs> exactly. All right, AJ, hit us up. Um. So, what do I got here? All right. So, so caliber. Yeah. I just got on yeah. GoStream.cool and I have an ad blocker. Interesting. I haven't heard of that one yet. But so caliber six. Um, this is where hackers got into it. Um, checking it out, looking for data and shit, right? Mm-hmm. As a, as a hacker do. Um, and they were able to pick out some like different words in there. I feel like uh, Chris was telling us about this over the weekend too. Uh, but they found some coded names uh, in there. And, oh, um, I know stone and rock. I think I heard about that. Yeah, that, that's what he was talking about. I think that's what he's talking yeah. about. Yeah. But is there more? Uh, yeah, there's uh, there's six names there. So, oh, there's six names there? Yeah, so there's Stone, there's Yell, there's Star, there's Snow, there's Reptile, and there's Yellow. Stone, I, we can say, is Rock. Yeah, Reptile's Lizard Man, right? Someone said Snow might be Tsetska. 
Oh, yeah, it could be. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, and Reptile. Is, is Lizard Man. Lizard Man. That's yeah, an easy one, right? Yeah, so yeah it's got to yeah. be Lizard Man. Yellow, Yell, and Star. I feel like Star might be Hild. I feel like Hild had something to do with a star. I don't know why. I don't know about that one. Maybe. And then, I don't know. Who's maybe, Yellow? There's Yellow and Yell. Yellow, I can see that being Cassandra, because people were, were uh, saying Cassandra might be a character. That's true. So I would say that because she's blonde. Is Yell young son? Pulls pretty loud, I guess. <laughs> That's all I could think about. That's like, a good one. I like that one. And he's pretty loud, right? He's one of those over-the-top like loud characters. Maybe yeah, he, he is kind of loud for sure. He's uh, not an assassin. He's quiet as fuck. He doesn't say shit. He, right? well, he's, a, he's an assassin. He yeah. should be. Assassin would be cool, though. No, but yeah, that would make sense. Okay. Hild, Cassandra, Young Sung, Rock, Lizard, Lizard Man. Man. Who was the sixth one? Setska. Setska. Rock, that, yeah. That's everyone I want. Remember, we, you yeah. and I were just talking about it. Mm-hmm. The, only thing, the only one we didn't mention, who we just talked about now, was Lizard Man. Yeah. But we literally talked about everybody else we just mentioned right now, so maybe maybe that's what's happening. Maybe. I'm yeah. down if that's the case. That's maybe, fucking cool. Maybe Yeld's Greg. Damn, maybe Hild is Greg under that armor. <laughs> it all makes sense. Oh, man. But yeah, yeah, so uh let's see if we're right. Maybe we should write this down and then put money on it and then when you start releasing characters, see how right we were. Mm-hmm. Um so the the Rock Snow and uh I mean the Rock Setska and Lizardman prediction were like the ones people were already kind of guessing at. But no one gets Star and I'm gonna say Hill might be Star. I don't know why. I don't remember it held that well, but Star maybe because of the, the, the mole she has in her face. Huh. Yeah, that's a star in her face, you know? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Guess is here. Anyways. All right. Um, you ever heard of... Um... Okay. Oh, shit. My bad. Is this the... All right, Lil John. Lil John, not the time. Not the time, Lil John. My... He gets excited. Yeah, he does. Um, he, he knows we're moving on to news, so he just wants to jump in there. You ever heard of uh, Maki Nima? The video game company? Maki Nima? Machinima. Oh, is that how it is? Machi- yeah, it's Machinima. Machinima? Yeah. Okay, yeah, because so... I, I see it written here. Okay, yeah, yeah, all right. So, it's like so you know about them, right? Yeah, the YouTubers stuff. Yeah, well, they're more than that, but yeah, they they're mainly like YouTubers is their thing. Like they have a lot of different channels and different like fan shit on there, right? Yeah. So apparently, they've joined with Full Screen Media in the past a uh, couple weeks or three weeks or something like that. Okay. And in the wake of that, in this past week, they took down all their YouTube it's, shit. It's like thousands of videos. I heard thousands, that. Yeah. bro deleted mm-hmm. lost to the ether yeah this is gone it's like and it's if you didn't have a backup on your computer that video is gone well you know it's their videos so who it, cares it's true but the people that were making the content are, that's true are I, I, because they I didn't forget. know that they didn't know this was going to happen yeah they didn't get any email any warning this shit just happened like they knew the they knew the deal happened mm-hmm. but they didn't know that meant their shit was just going to fucking disappear yeah, I I forget that they have different content creators that like do videos for them. So that's true. That's like videos they made, and then Machina gets it, and then that's we see it. So yeah, so yeah, a lot of those were gone. Um, people, I forgot what I was hearing. I feel like people were speculating that maybe they got rid of them because of potential of um, uh, copyright stuff that you know once they free themselves from whoever. That's all gonna be a thing. I, I don't know. It's all gonna be up yeah. in the air from there. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know. Where it goes I could, from there. I could see it being a legal protection, but like, let that be a lesson to YouTubers. You never know. Like, like if that's how you're making your money, if that's how you're paying your rent, you never know. Yeah, you One know company pulls the shit, like fucks your whole game up, dude. Like, yeah, that's a big thing that's been happening for the last couple of months. Uh, yeah. Because uh, I was just, I just, I just watched this video with somebody talking about that. They're a part of. Uh, they call them um, multi-channel networks, MCNs. Yeah, um, and then uh, that's how people were making money in the beginning before YouTube yeah. was more open about you know how to how to make money off of YouTube. So you had to join one of these networks. So and then that network would protect you from any copyright shit. So anytime you're using like you know other properties as vaguely, you know they had the licenses that would protect you. So if you're a part of their network, you know you were clear from all and that shit. We considered it for a moment, but we were eventually we just, I think we got lazy. <laughs> and yeah, you brought and it up. That's just you too brought complicated it up to me. too. Yeah, and I was like. But yeah, they, I think I think that did come up one time, a couple times in the past. Um, but yeah, so like, and then eventually, yeah, so some of those people are either corrupt or just things happen where they decide to change up things, and then people just lose out on everything. Uh, like uh, one of the YouTubers, uh, Maximilian dude, he's like, uh, he got fired technically from his MCN, and he thought he lost all his videos, but he still has them all. They're all on his channel. He was just getting assistance from them, but 
he technically free from all that, so he can just legally like just. Well, he got lucky on yeah. That. He got lucky on that. He got kind of lucky, yeah. But some others were not so lucky because all their money came from that you know person or that entity, and then and then they would make the money and then give him whatever you know after they take their cut. And sometimes they wouldn't give him all their money too. That's from what I was hearing. Damn, but I'd be pissed I, off. I feel like Machinima is part of something like that too. Like, I think they are at MCM, uh, MCN. I would say. Um, but they they're joining what a big what did you say they were joining? What you oh said yeah they um with um a big screen something what they're called um oh, fuck I lost it already like what does that mean like are they gonna be no that's the name of that's the name of that company they joined with them I don't know what they're gonna do with that oh that's but, weird but they joined with that company damn it what did I say they were called big screen something big media movie, big, big screen media something like that anyways man let me look it up again oh. <laughs> God damn it um. But yeah, I, I don't know what that means. I just know they they like just deleted or, or blocked or privated all their all their uh, a lot of their old shit. Okay, which I'm this not is upset happening with. because they they partnered with full screen media. Full screen media. Yeah, that's weird. And then overall, I'm like I'm not even upset with it because I try I, I I try to make it a thing to not not watch Machinima stuff. Sometimes I'll be watching something yeah, and I'm like, not... oh, this video is cool. And then I get the Machinima logo at the end. I'm like, oh, this is Machinima this whole time. Yeah, it, whenever it's good, I'm surprised it's them. I've seen this little <laughs> M before and I'm like, oh, yeah. I usually don't like your shit. Yeah. Like, uh, something rubbed me the wrong way with them back you know, in the day. I they feel what it over, was. They feel overproduced to me. Yeah. To me. Like, I feel like they're trying really hard. And that, to me, Well, that's... they had good production and all that, but it's like yes. they, they did something recently or back in the day at... I don't you, know. You mean they actually did something that like pissed you off? Yeah, or or did something to other creators that kind of like was like a gray area type of things. Like that's kind of fishy. I, I forgot what it was. Well, I mean, this, is, this is a perfect example of them doing some shit like that. So <laughs> it's probably, it probably some bullshit like this, right? Mm. Maybe. Yeah. Anyways. All right, AJ news. Um. What do I got here? So um. Oh yeah. So people have been messing with machine learning and shit, right? And uh, we're supposed to be getting this uh, Final Fantasy VII remake sometime soon, but it's not really happening. So uh, somebody uh, somewhere uh, plugged in, what is it called? A, a Gigapixel, an AI called Giggle, Gigapixel. Mm-hmm. Um, some, some people got together and, and are using that to kind of uh, up-res Final Fantasy VII. And so what this uh, <laughs> this program would do is, is we'll see the game, we'll see it and take a screenshot of it and compare it to a high res version of it, and we'll actually like recreate it to make it look better res. And, and mostly focusing on, on the background elements, not so much of the main characters moving around, but everything the surrounding area. It'll do that too, mm. and it'll make it look really clear too. Which I was looking at some screenshots, it looks pretty good. So I guess this is what people are doing right now to get over the uh, fact that their uh, remake hasn't happened yet. But, they um, said it's happening, but where is it? <laughs> yeah, and I don't know, somewhere. Maybe they're using the same technology. It's taking forever. <laughs> I, but which brings me to my point that I want to talk about this too. Is like maybe that's what some companies should do in the future. Like when you want to remake something, maybe just get a machine learning program to like just play the game, look at it, and just up-res everything on their own so people don't have to manually go in there and you know hand-code it themselves, hmm. which can be a way to get around it. Maybe that's where the future is going with you know, remakes in the future. I don't know. But yeah, if anyone wants to check check that out, go look it up. Um, I got like four pieces of news. Me too. I got three. Okay, so all right, I got it. That's perfect. Though. I know I got two actually. Two. <laughs> yeah, I got two. All right, I'll do two in a row. Um, Rob Leefield, the guy who made Deadpool, created a new character for Marvel called Major X. Uh, I think there's a picture for that. Uh, but Major X is a brand new character. Oh yeah. And he comes from a different universe. He comes from a reality, like a uh, reality plane called the Existence. Ooh. Existence, yeah. And so, Hecht. what up, Hect? Where the fuck you been? For real. <laughs> um, so on this plane, it's a fuck. place... He came here to say, fuck Rob Lipfield. <laughs> okay, all, all right, thank you. Okay, thank you for weighing in on that. But uh, so, apparently mutants exist in a subplane, like a pocket dimension, where all mu- it's all populated by mutants, and they all exist and get along there happily. And then apparently it got destroyed for some reason. And this character, uh, Major X, comes into our universe because he wants to restore his home world. Um, hmm. I 
don't think he's all that interesting looking. <laughs> he looks like okay, but uh, I you know it might might end up being something legendary. So if you're a person who likes to try and be ahead of the first the issue number ones in case it ends up being worth something, go check it out. Go get it now. Yeah, grab it. You know, like maybe lightly read it before you buy it if you don't think it's if you think it sucks. <laughs> you know, but you know it's first appearance of a brand new character, so you know it doesn't happen too often in Marvel and DC. So. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's kind of, I don't know. I've never heard of anyone like talking about new characters that show up and, and have been good. It's real rare. Yeah. Uh, the last one I can like remember off the top of my head is like... Racer X, X Rocketeer. X, X-23 and Sentry. Those are the last one. X-23, we know. that mm. You know her now. Right? Yeah. Yeah, those are the only ones I remember. I, like, I know about it. It was a good character. They're the only ones <laughs> I remember that like lasted. You know, they, they made yeah. a lot of new characters that don't like last or they fizzle out or... Get thrown into another universe or some stupid shit. <laughs> and so, lost forever. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a mini series. It's already out. So if you want to check out Major X number one, it is out. For Cuckoo you. says the hood was decent. That DC? Who? The hood. <laughs> I feel like that fall of Guardians of the Guy. Who the fuck is the hood? I don't know who the hood is. That DC or Marvel, bro? Let us know. I have no clue. It, it sounds familiar, though. That sounds familiar. Not the red hood, right? At Marvel. The fuck is that? I should oh. know. No, I don't know, bro. I'm sorry. You have to show me a picture. I'm sorry. All right, AJ? I don't know who that is either. It sounds familiar. Though. Oh, wait, wait, no. That name. I'm supposed to do two. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, DC, Vertigo Comics. Um, they came out with a new comic called Second Coming. Uh, I don't, ah, I don't that's what she can... said. <laughs> Did she, though? But anyway, uh, so it's a new comic called Second Coming. And this comic is about our current times and Jesus Christ coming back, right? Ah. And apparently in this comic... Um, he's roommated with a superhero named Sunman, who's like an all-powerful, super successful at saving the world type of superhero. And the creator of this, you know, uh, you know, people are already are not like, you know, how religious people are. Right? Mm, yeah, not too fucking happy about. It, <laughs> I bet. But actually, the backlash wasn't that bad when this first story came out. The backlash came when the creator decided to talk about it in detail. <laughs> like a little bit more detail. His name is uh. Hold on, let me give you his name first. Mark Russell. Uh. Uh. So he goes into. He says, he explains himself. Um, it's an all power superhero named Sunman has to share a two bedroom apartment with Jesus Christ. Um, the conceit is that God was so upset with Jesus's performance the first time he came to Earth, since he was arrested and crucified and all that stuff, that he. He didn't let him come back to Earth. Then God sees this superhero, Sun Man, and says, mm. See, that's what I wanted you to be, Jesus. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> so once he said this, that's when the backlash happened against this comic book. It's oh, called Second man. Coming. Uh, it hasn't come out yet, but it's going to come out soon, supposedly. Second Coming, but it hasn't come out. They got it. <laughs> Ironically, um, they, they have a, 100,000 signatures on 120,000 signature... Like petition like to like petition block to shut it, it down, oh, yeah, wow. to block it. So they're almost there. So I mean, I kind of those ever ever work? Not not usually to block. They usually work to push something forward. They usually don't work to stop something. Yeah, that's true. Because like nobody cares, you know. Like he's <laughs> like, uh, sorry, I already wrote it. We already drew it. It's coming out. Yeah, it's like, you know? in the process. It's, and, it's in the truck right now. Yeah, going to your local comic book store. Uh, basically, <laughs> so I mean, unless DC itself takes the petition seriously, and then tells him, hey, bro, we got to cancel it. That's the only thing. But hopefully it comes out before that happens, so at least there's an issue one. Mm. Then you can buy it, and that should be worth thousands of dollars. Because <laughs> then there's, like, never, no, no other prints of it. Yeah, and it got canceled, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah, so. Um, yeah, so keep an eye out for Second Coming if you're interested in that. Uh, I'm not even a religious person, and I kind of feel like they went a little bit too far with the idea of it. Um, I want to see this picture of the hood. Hold yeah, on. well, Cuckoo says some shit too right here if you want to read that uh, as I copy this link. What is... There's so many options here. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the hood, sorry. Anyway. The Hood, Volume 1. Dun, dun, Dang, dun. it looks like he's from the hood. He does. I... I don't know. The fact that I never heard of him kind of makes me feel like he didn't succeed. So I don't well, know. Well, T has some homework now. I guess. I mean, <laughs> he better be good. Some after show homework. All right. AJ, news? All right. So, Evo Japan apparently is coming up in February. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Finals day. Uh, tickets are available. 
So if you want to get your ticket now, you can go do that. I think that's all I wanted to talk about, actually, as far as that story goes. You want to go? Was oh, that Evil Japan? No, we need to save our money for our Evil. <laughs> yeah, for sure, yeah. No, we're not going to Evil in Japan. Fuck that. That's, that's <laughs> said, too fine. much. That's too much. It's too late for that right now. Yeah, I'm focused. It's not going to Evo Japan. All right. No. Uh, but hype for uh, actual Evo in, in, in Vegas out here. Like, we should... When Evo Japan happens, we should be getting some type of list for the games that will be at this year's Evo in Vegas. Uh, if not, if not between now and then, hopefully by then, because I feel like that's what they're gonna, that's what they're waiting for right now. And I feel like the list is probably pretty easy to guess this year. If you guys have an idea of what the list is for Evo, feel free to email us at unfocusedpodcast at gmail because I would love to hear it. For sure. Um, uh, so okay, I think that's very interesting. Evo Japan next month. <laughs> yes. Um, so it might be that, which we gotta watch for freaking uh, Soul Calibur shit. Oh, we should watch, huh? Yeah, we should. You're right. And maybe some Tekken shit. I don't know what. And Smash. Smash. What's I don't know if Smash Ultimate's there or not. Actually, what what is their lineup? Probably is. It's gotta be. It's so huge. Yeah, I'm gonna look at what the lineup is with while you do your next story. Right. Well, I need you to put a picture for the next one. I will. All right. So my next story is gonna be Ghostbusters. If you guys were paying attention to last week's episode we mentioned and showed the teaser trailer for the new Ghostbusters movie, just to clarify for anyone who didn't see last week, it will not be a continuation or a sequel to the last Ghostbusters movies with the all-female cast. Not that we know of, anyway. Um, But we do know all the original cast is showing up in it again. So we're going to have all the actors except for the one who played Egon because he's dead. He died last year. I think it was like two years ago or something. Was it, was it two years ago? Yeah, two or, or three years ago. Yeah, R.I.P. Egon. But um, yeah, and he's then, a ghost now. You know, and so with the main three characters involved, people were thinking that they were going to be the Ghostbusters. You know, to be about them dusting off their fucking packs, you know, and going out there to Ghostbusters. Yeah. Right? Apparently, that's not the case. That's what I heard too. Yeah. Apparently, this is actually going to be about a younger, new crew of Ghostbusters, and they might be seeking out the old Ghostbusters as mentors of some kind. I, you know what this actually reminds me of a lot? Hmm. Ghostbusters Extreme. Oh, shit. And that, uh, so that's Isn't what, that what you were asking for? Yeah. That's last we, week? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I was like, we got to talk about this. Yeah. And that's what I was saying they should do a movie <laughs> of. And they did say there'll be male and female Ghostbusters. Ooh. So, doesn't that look a lot like this team we have here? Like, you know, there's a girl in there. Ah, there's, yeah. There's a couple guys in there. Like, this could be what it's about. The ironic and sad thing is part of the team in Ghostbusters Extreme was Egon. Oh. He's the one actor that died. Yeah. Of so. all of them, it had to be him. <laughs> Seriously. What the fuck, man? Like, Damn. But um, I'm sure they can make up for it. They'll make have, it work, yeah. Have a fun way to you know have the other characters mentor them a little bit. Could be fun. Could be really good. Um, but yeah, that's the information we know now. Um, I think that they followed that up because there's been a lot of issues with... Um, the, the actress who played the female Winston in the last movie? Because she's real mad about this. Yeah, well, she didn't play... Okay, I guess that was her last name. I don't remember her name in the, in the movie. But yeah, yeah, I heard about that. She was like upset. Like, what the fuck? Like, did he even t- bother to tell us? Supposedly yeah. their movie didn't do so well. I like the movie, though. The movie was pretty good. You're, you're one of the, the few. Movie, I've, I've not heard many people say they liked cause it. Because people are like, all butthurt that it wasn't the original cast and is of all female characters and, and has no relation to the original series. I think people are just upset over that, that they didn't bother to give it a chance. My girlfriend was excited that there were girls, and then she still didn't like it. And she didn't like it? <laughs> yeah, she, says she was excited that there was an all-girl cast, and she's like, this is kind of not funny. Heck says they need to open a wormhole to the women's uh, team universe, which that would be dope. So wait, so let me say, that's what I was about to say about the actress. <laughs> Why are you jumping the gun? You should just shut the fuck up and see what they do, because mm. they might connect you, and that would be ca- that would be kind of cool. That you would know? be like, cool, yeah. And I'm like, I was like, maybe she should just chill the fuck out. Leslie Jones, that's yeah, Leslie name. Jones, yeah. And he's just chill the fuck out, see what they do with it. Maybe there's a reason they haven't said anything yet, because mm-hmm. you know. Like, but um, she she's made herself very clear that she's not happy about. Yeah, she. I think she tried to get the other uh, women involved and to like they, say something they too. Say nothing. And uh, she she was doing something else too that was like, oh damn, you're going that far. Like I remember she said dick move. Her first thing was dick move with the quotes dick around the word dick, <laughs> you know. And then she deleted that tweet and re put a one put a new more appropriate tweet saying dick I move got, and the no, quotes I, and then moved. No, <laughs> no, she said I guess guys do it better. That's what she said next. So, so, yeah. I'm sure no matter what, the company that's doing it is not happy with her now. You know, so like, Maybe. She might have yeah. pissed them off now. Uh, I heard the uh, the writer, because you mentioned the director or, or the writer was coming back, right? Yeah, I think the writer's coming it's, back. It's the uh, writer's son. 
Oh, really? It's the writer's son. Yeah, who's who's writing this movie. Oh, okay, interesting. Yeah, that doesn't mean it's gonna be good. (laughs) But okay, interesting. Yes, we'll see. But I think that's cool because since we are supposedly getting a new younger generation, mm-hmm. that's kind of cool that the it's younger fitting. you know generation, his generation, you know, mm-hmm. is uh, writing this. So very fitting. Yeah. So I, I guess we can't. You know, we'll hold judgment until it comes out. Yep. But and may I say, I love this cartoon. Ghostbusters Extreme was really good. So I never seen it. What you would? I think you would like it. You should watch it. You know, it's funny though. I remember like when I was younger, I was in the hospital for like a week. And they had their own hospital TV there, and they had the Cartoon Channel for me. I swear, it was the exact same episodes every single day. Maybe you were caught in Doctor Strange's loop. Oh, shit. And like, not only was I watching Ghostbusters, but I was watching Inspector Gadget. I think Heathcliff, too. Oh, I love Heathcliff. And like, you know, I watch it one day, and like, oh, cool, yeah, good episode. And the next one, like, oh, yeah, I think I saw this episode yesterday. And then by the third or fourth, I was like, it's fucking repeating every single day. Like, this is annoying. Like, I want to see new episodes. Yeah, that's fucking weird. <laughs> By the way, I used uh, to love SWAT cats. All right, next news piece. Um, so back to the evil Japan thing, real quick. Okay. Uh, the main uh, games there: Tekken Seven, Blaz Blue Cross Tag Battle, Soul Calibur Six, uh, Street Fighter Five. Wait, Blaz Blue Cross Tag? Yeah. I thought people don't like that game. Oh no no no! I'm thinking of the old one. This is the newer one, right? Yeah, this, this, more... this is the one with the different other games involved okay. too. Sorry, remember? sorry. This is a new game. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, King of Fighters. Uh, XIV 14, 14. Um, and Guilty Gear RX or RX2 RDVC WX ABC. Um, <laughs> no Dragon Ball Fighters because I think they had to drop it because of all that, you know, the shit drama, that was happening. Drama with, well, not Toei, right? Whoever the, Supposedly not Toei, the, the yeah. Fan, the Phantom Company that's like <laughs> fucking this shit up, apparently. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, so those are the six games. So we need to go watch Tekken 7 and Soul Calibur 6 for sure. When that starts happening. Um, and other final news from me, though. Um, Deep Mind. No, Deep Mind is? No. So, Deep Mind was this uh, computer that uh, IBM programmed to uh, go against the uh, top uh, chess player a couple decades ago. I have heard about this, yeah. And a uh, human player could not win, a chess master could not win, I believe. Mm-hmm. I think that's what happened. And then the, the Deep Mind computer won, right? Right. I think the same program or something similar uh did jeopardy a few years ago that i talked about on the show uh and uh that computer ibm computer watson who's who's what it was who's doing hospital shit nowadays uh he won that jeopardy challenge he the the other two contestants uh champions of their own in jeopardy couldn't fucking do shit um but yeah, so uh, they they deep bind went on and did uh, doing new things, and I know I mentioned it here on the show maybe a year or two ago that they're gonna tackle Starcraft next, and it's happening. Mine's happened. gonna challenge the best Starcraft player in the world. We got a couple of them actually, I think. Because I, now I haven't watched the whole thing yet, but I did watch a little bit of it, and and then I was just listening to them talk about it and all that. And I'll, I'll probably give you more details next week. We need to watch that, bro. You want to watch it too? Yes. It, it's freaking like hours long, though. I think they spent like a good 30 minutes just talking about the computer and the process of building it, which is what I want to hear. I know. Um, of course you do. Well, I want to hear that. Um, but what I did get from it so far, though, and if you want spoilers, uh, human players didn't win. Ten games. Wow, really? Ten games. I think it was uh, uh, TLO. See, I was just about to say that's the game I feel like the humans could win because they're, you have to, you can be clever and tricky in that game, and I don't mm-hmm. know if computers could quite do that. Yeah. So uh, what's funny about that is I think the computer may have one big advantage that the humans don't have is that the computer can see the entire map. From whatever vision they can see, they can see uh, the full map. And we have to scan over and look. Yeah, and we have to move the screen around, yeah. So they don't have to worry about moving the screen to oh, specific Oh, dude, that's spots. seconds and seconds of fucking plus one time. Like they're, True. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. And they compute faster than us? Like, yeah. Supposedly, yeah. Damn. So that's right. one thing that they have an advantage over. Um, the other thing, too, one of the players was asking, too, is like, oh, like, you know, with humans, you know, we play a match, we learn, and then we don't try the same strategy again, or we do, but usually we don't, mm-hmm. uh, you know, just whatever feels right at the moment, right? Mm-hmm. And it's like, and we always base it off, you know, the previous game that we play with that same opponent. Mm-hmm. And they're like asking, like, how's, how does the, uh, also this uh, Deep Mind computer is named Alpha Star. So they're asking, how does Alpha Star approach that situation? And they're like, 
It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. It reacts. It doesn't. Right. Uh, not that it reacts, because you, know, you do have to plan something, right? You can't really react to what you don't know until you go and see it, right? Because that's how StarCraft is played. Mm. You, you're working on your own, yeah. and then you a minute or two later, their shit, and you see yeah, what they're doing, and minute then you or two alter later, your plans. Then you get after like two minutes into the match, then you can kind of get, get an idea of what they might be doing, but you still don't know, right? Yeah. So they they're still kind of in that little bubble there, but they don't uh, consider the previous game at all. Like, it's just fear, like... Blank slate every time. Always blank slate, exactly right. Every that's, game. That's almost an advantage, though. Because you're not, like, expecting anything. Yeah. Because, like, that's kind of what fucks yeah, us you, up. Yeah, when you, we just you, see someone beat us with some crazy shit. You're like, okay. You, you kind of like, know what to expect next yeah, time, right? Mm-hmm. And even if they don't do that, you're still kind of... That's in the back of your mind. Like, yeah. they tried that last time. Like, computers are just blank every time. Like, okay, nah. Like, and then yeah. just to kind of quickly describe the first two matches. The first match... The uh, the computer was kind of cheesy, brute force, like went in right away, quickly. And so the guy was like, oh, shit, okay, now I got to prepare for him coming in quickly and like cheesing almost, right? Second game, didn't do that. The, the computer played defense and like stayed back for a oh while and built God, up an army. So the whole sucks. time, the human was also being on defense, expecting him to waste. come in. Yeah, and that's kind of a waste because he ended up staying back himself, building a what big army. What the fuck? And then came through. <laughs> and um, I think Cuckoo said the best thing. He says, I'll still give the advantage to Korean players. Because was this person, <laughs> did he play Korean? TLO, uh, I don't think he's Korean, no. So there you go. I mean, I, think I, it's European. I don't believe anything until <laughs> fucking Koreans play the computer. Um, and then also, too, another weird thing is that uh, APM is a big thing, actions per minute. And people always look at those stats when they're seeing uh, other people's plays. Like, oh, look how many, like, how fast he's moving. His actions per minute is for, as high compared to this player. That's why he's doing better. Computers, APM. Not that high compared to the, to the human. Really? Yeah, it's actually high for a moment. It spikes for a moment, but then it drops really low. Uh, but while the human is building, building, and staying high and, and gradually getting faster and faster, but the computers spikes up for a second and then drops really low, and then just low APM for the rest of the game and still wins. Fuck, dude. <laughs> Does that mean we're wasting our energy being so efficient sometimes? Maybe, like, I don't know. But yeah. also, maybe those actions per minute are also us moving the camera around too. So I guess you got to equate uh, that into yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. true. So maybe that's a thing that has to do with it. I don't know. Like, I want to watch more of that video. I only got to see like a couple minutes of it just to well, see like, it, how it was. It sucks the computer can see the whole map. That right away, like, that kind of sucks. Yeah, like, that does kind of suck. But at the same time, we can also somewhat see the entire map by looking at a little map in the, in the corner. No, that's on. different. Though. And then when you notice something, you can go look at it. You know, like who knows where his focus is at the whole time. But mm. overall, though, still, you can see the entire map easily. So you can easily just glance over. I don't know how computers do it, but interesting. But that is a, a, a thing. But yeah, it's a lot to think about because I always, it is. I always say that like the computers are so strong because they have a ridiculous cap. Mm. But I always say humans are so strong because we have no cap. True. You know what I mean? Like. We, we're yeah. probably most of us are probably gonna be weaker than computers and, and the computer is like the actual games computer like probably can see you it's probably cheating it probably knows something that you you know are well, it knows what you're doing probably in some way and to take it back to fighting games that's why i tell people don't play the computer too much yeah because the computer can do things that even the best players in the world can't do like the computer feels you push this button yeah and you're doing a move that's slow and even if you were that smart that much thinking ahead of them and that smart their reaction is boom do this move now yeah and like, like there's no way a regular person would be able to catch that, that like quick. to react that fast and think of that move at that split second yeah exactly so it's like it's kind of not good to practice against computers sometimes mm. when you're playing fighting games you yeah know? but uh, yeah but this uh deep mind alpha star here like I, he, he plays on his own and just based off what he sees because he can see just whatever he can see right mm. and, and until you like get into their area and you know that range of radius of what you can see for those so that are just catching in all that too. Didn't, didn't catch all this we're talking about starcraft and how a computer would play starcraft it's really interesting uh, yeah yeah, all right, that was right. really cool. That was a good fucking piece of news right there. I like that. Yeah, so I want to go actually watch those matches, though, because it sounds interesting. Um, but yeah, that's that. My last piece of news, Michael B. Jordan. I think there's a picture if you want. Um, Michael B. Jordan just sold, just signed a multi-contract deal with DC. What? Yes. What? <laughs> yes, dude. Can he do that? Yeah, because Killmonger is dead. Oh, true. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you, you can do that. So yeah, uh, it's all up to Marvel. Uh, me and a friend were just talking about this right before the podcast. I'm glad we had this conversation before. Did he really die, though? But yeah, bro, he's fucking dead. He just <laughs> he bled over. He fell over in the end. Um, 
they him. buried him. They could have put him in some freaking vibranium time capsule they shit. Anyway, you know? they they did that to freaking Winter Soldier, yeah. right? Well, they wouldn't let him go if he wasn't dead, because we know DC's thing or uh, Marvel's thing is, yeah. or not Marvel's thing, Disney's thing. Mm. You cannot be in a DC movie if your character is active in a Marvel movie. Mm. But I'm gonna point out that they may have broken the rules there with the guy, uh, the guy who was uh, in Guardians of the Galaxy. Remember who? The the black dude, that black mm. African dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in Shazam, and that movie's about. Oh him, yeah, <laughs> and he's in Captain Marvel. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say that right now, too. He's in Captain he, Marvel. He's technically... Yeah. Oh, yeah, I knew I saw him somewhere else. He's somewhere recently. He was That's in Guardians one, right? And yeah. He's technically in two Captain Marvel movies at the same year, because Shazam used to be called Captain Marvel. Oh, shit. That's a whole other... Damn. That's a whole other fucking thing. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's ever catching that these movies are coming out in the same year, but, like, they're dredging up old beef between Marvel and DC, dude. That's like, funny. That's D- so true, huh? Yeah. DC had to rename him. Like, DC called him Captain Marvel first, mm-hmm. but... Marvel has the rights to the word Marvel. So when Marvel came up with a character called Captain Marvel, DC had to get rid of that character or rename him. And so they, ch- they called him Shazam. Because yeah. that's how he gets his power. He says Shazam. Like, okay, fine. He's not Captain Marvel. He's Shazam. How do you say this dude's name? Because uh, Cuckoo just gave it to us. Jimon Hanso. Hanso, okay. Uh, I can I can Honso? never I can never pronounce that DJ shit. Like, how are you supposed to pronounce that shit? I think you don't pronounce the D. Oh, mm, Jimon Honso. Honso. Anyway, all right. So that's my last piece of news. Michael B. Jordan is now part of the DCEU. I mean, uh, the the thing that people are pushing for is for him to be Superman, and I think that's fucking Whoa. retarded. Oh, you didn't know about this, no. dude? The huge fan push right now is for him to be Superman. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I want to see more black actors as superheroes, but don't fucking do it. He doesn't look like him. He doesn't look anything like him. Like. Mm. It's not no. even just that he's black. He's just... We already have Superman. He can't take his place. You're going to expect me to believe he's the same guy that we saw in that last movie? Like, <laughs> don't treat me like I'm stupid. Um, the he- other, Hector's uh, saying, by the way, about Captain Marvel, they only had to rename the comic, not the character. Yeah, but they renamed the character. But in they ended up doing it anyway. Just because they didn't want to have the problem. You yeah. Know? Like, it, you're, you're right. They didn't have to, but they did. Um, uh, the other thing I was going to say, um, he could be Green Lantern. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it could be uh, John, uh, well, John Stewart. Yeah, one of the Green Lanterns. Um, I do think that's a waste because I think everyone's kind of waiting for Hal Jordan, the the white Green Lantern with the brown hair, because he's kind of fucking epic. He's kind of like the best one. Like, I can't argue, man. I, is that I, the one with uh, Ryan Reynolds? Who, is that who yeah, he played? That, that's who he played, yeah. Okay. That one's kind of the best Green Lantern. I would like to see John Stewart, but John Stewart's always been a little bit boring. Um. You know who I want him to be playing? Martian Manhunter. I hope he's mm. fucking Martian Manhunter. I don't know who that is, but cool. Uh, Google him real quick. I just want you to take a look at Google him. Google the bitch. For anyone who's a fan of DC, they all know what I'm talking about. But if you don't... Who's he again? Martian Manhunter. Martian. With a T, sorry. How do you spell Martian? T-I-N. T-I-N. Hey, okay. Yeah, Martian. Look, there he is. Martian Manhunter. I'm like, Martian, like... So Martian Manhunter is this alien from another planet that comes to the that comes to the world and you know helps the De- helps the Justice League he becomes part of the De- Justice League. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. And so his guys, when he comes to Earth to be a regular person, he transforms himself into a black man. Mm. Like maybe Michael B. Jordan could be this guy. Like I would really love Martian Manhunter is one of my absolute favorites. I love him. I'm so mad that he's never been in a movie. He's never been in any DC movie. So. If they, you know, he'd be dope. What he's about just badass. An animated movie? Has he done that? He's shown up in a couple. Not enough. Not enough for sure. Other people were saying maybe, um, what was the other one? He could be Static Shock. He oh, could be Lip- that'd be cool. He could be Black Volt or Super Volt. Super, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, he could be Super Volt. You know, <laughs> like he, they got some options. You know, they got some options. <laughs> I don't think they would waste Michael B. Jordan on Super Volt. Super Bowl, I think they would make him fucking Manhunter or Green Lantern or Superman, like a prominent role. Yeah. I hope it's not Superman, man. Like, we already, it just, we just had... Yeah, you always hear about these people, like, trying to, like, you know... Trying to do that. Trying yeah. to, like, protest for, for certain things to happen just to have it be diverse and stuff like that, but... Hey, Donald Glover never got Spider-Man, right? Childish Gambino. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone was pushing for that shit. Yeah. Yeah. But that sounds cool. Uh, well, I guess we'll see what he did since he's dead in Marvel. Yeah, it works. He's he's dead yeah. in Marvel, you know. 
So. And that doesn't stop him from showing up in flashbacks or illusions. So he could still show up in Marvel. So everyone calm down. Mm-hmm. Okay. He, if you're really hoping that Killmonger makes a slight appearance, he could still do that. Yeah. Yeah. He just They just have to have you dead. <laughs> oh, which I realize the guy in Guardians is dead. Remember? Drax killed him. He ripped that shit off of his head and killed him. What guy? The, the black guy, the African guy, the Kree soldier. Oh, he did die? Remember, Drax ripped that shit off of his head. Oh, shit. And he fucking shorted it out and died on the floor. Remember that he had those metal things on his head? Yeah, I don't remember that. Yeah, Drax ripped it off of his head and he ah, fucking... Uh, I didn't see that again. Yeah. It's a damn good movie. It's yeah. worth seeing again. <laughs> <laughs> because he wasn't that big of a character, so you don't quite pay attention to him, so that's why I don't remember. Yeah, he only showed up like three times in the movie. Yeah. Good, li- good lions, but you only show up three times. Yeah, like when you saw him, you were like, you're ready for him. Like, oh, this is going to do some shit, you know? <laughs> yeah, he's going to say something. He's going to yeah. do some shit. Yeah. All right, let's real quick run down our future and focus week. Our future, damn. <laughs> so uh, I realized that I didn't finish my uh, Legend of Zelda quest, so I got to get to that. Um, I haven't been playing I want to do that and just uh, slow caliber when I can and maybe some more Smash. That's all it's been, really, is all that. I, I, I am trying to I have not big of a hard drive like a, a c drive which is flash like i need flash memory for my games right i don't put shit on a hard drive because it just slows shit down and i want to play that jurassic world game uh i need to make room in, in my computer i actually started deleting games and shit that i wasn't playing so i deleted uh diablo i deleted uh i had freaking fortnite installed in there that i didn't realize it was still installed so i had to delete, delete that too just to make some room in my hard drive uh for games so uh might need to do more of that so i can try to play that um, and then I got to read Korra and I want to go check if I have any Sonic too. So, okay. but that's kind of, hopefully I keep telling myself I'm going to do these things and I don't know, the week just flies by so I, fast. Yeah, I, I feel you, bro. Don't, don't even trip. I've been playing, remember I said last week I was going to play Zelda. I haven't played Zelda once. <laughs> Not because I didn't want to, just because like every moment I was like, oh shit, I should be doing this right now. So I'm going to go do this. Oh, yeah. I should be doing this right now. So I'm going to do this. Yeah. I got to be over here. It's like, and then when you had times, like I don't have enough time to do yeah, this right now. Yeah. I don't to do that. Like, yeah. to, like I know. I All feel right. you. Yeah. So. Same thing with me. I'm gonna continue. Uh, I'm gonna try to play that Zelda again. Like yeah, I, haven't, <laughs> I haven't been playing Breath of the Wild. Um, I'm gonna continue reading Dark Side War, which is pretty good so far. Um, I think that's the major stuff I want to do. I definitely want to play some more Smash because I learned some cool new Lucas shit today. Oh, I want to. I want to try it out. And, oh shit. Yeah, I want to play more Smash Brothers. This is, I'm having a lot of fun with that game and with Soul Calibur. If I'm gonna play tournaments for anything in Evo, it's gonna be those two if they're allowed. If it smashes they'll, allowed. They'll be. I, I'm assuming I'm, they, they gotta be. There's no way it's not. Yeah, but yeah it's... so for sure. Like I'm gonna I wanna do more uh Tekken though, because I was watching I recorded one of my matches because I, I played with some high level uh uh Kuma uh, like a month ago, so I think I talked about it on the show. And I, I happened to watch that video that I recorded today, I was like Ugh! like I was just getting so mad. There's a spot where he had like a little bit of life left. And I, I tried to corner him somewhere, and I just didn't know what to do. And I whiffed something, and then he countered, and then add like half a life bar. I was done. What? Whiff from one whiff, launch me, did some crazy oh, ass you shit. Oh, you that Broke the it. floor, dropped down, and fucking continued this combo and finished me off yeah. with this freaking super shit. It'd be like that. And I was like, my bro. god. And then in the video, because I like I'm on screen too, and I, I see myself get mad, and I got mad the same way too. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, flashback. Yeah. Oh um, man, but yeah, and then also too, we have a uh, Soul Calibur matches recorded. So uh, just go to our YouTube channel uh, on the Unfocus page, uh, youtubecom slash Unfocus Podcast. There's a gaming playlist there. We have some uh, Soul Calibur matches there. If you guys want to check those out, hey, and there might be more coming soon. Yeah, we're uh, probably even uh, after Sunday. We're not super pros, but we're definitely not beginners. So you might learn a little few things on there. And if not, if feel free. If you feel some things that we could be doing better, shoot us some advice. You know, it never hurts. Yeah. But um, but yeah. Or just if you're trying to learn the game too, you can watch those matches and get an idea of like what like good like matches are like kind of supposed to look like. Yeah. So at the very least, and ask us if you have questions about stuff our characters do because we're doing so much old shit that we're probably not even thinking about it anymore. True. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that was unfocused episode two oh nine uh, two ten. Sorry, thank you for joining us on that. And don't forget, we're live on Twitch.tv slash Collision twenty eight every Thursday, somewhere between seven thirty and eight. Um, YouTube. youtube.com slash unfocused podcast is where you can catch the uh, these episodes at like comment subscribe over there yep. uh, twitter uh, you can get us at unfocus 28 and follow us there we usually let you know we're starting up and stuff like that usually uh, instagram at unfocused podcasts yeah subscribe there too comment like 
uh, you know, all that stuff. Apple, uh, Apple Podcasts, you can download us. Yep. Please do that. Also subscribe, also comment, tell your friends about us. Rate us. And then email us, unfocusedpodcast at gmail.com. Like I said, I want to hear your list of Evo games that you think should be happening. Like, you know, tell, tell us whatever you think about anything we talked about or <laughs> things that you want us to talk about. Exactly. Close to 28.com. It's over!